COVID-19 vaccines are now available for children from six months to five years old, and many people are eager to vaccinate their kids, while others worry about the safety and the efficacy of the shots. With so much uncertainty, we asked Dr. Katherine Klauser to help answer some of the questions for you. She is co-director of pediatric COVID-19 recovery at Joseph M. Sanzari Children's Hospital in Hackensack, New Jersey. Dr. Klauser, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. So COVID-19. A lot of people say it's very mild for most children. So do these kids this young really need to be vaccinated? What do you say? We've been very lucky that you are correct. For most kids, things have been very mild. However, there are a lot of post-COVID infection-related illnesses that have been prevented with the vaccine. So overall, I think it's a positive. I think it's a really exciting day for children to receive this vaccine that can help prevent them from being ill. And Dr. Both Moderna and Pfizer shots are now approved. How are the vaccines and the dosages different between the two? So with Moderna, currently it's a two-dose series. They did uh, studies on the doses that are smaller than those in adults, which makes sense, right? Those kids are smaller in weight, so they need less of it. They have two doses currently. They are studying a third dose, uh, so it may end up that just like adults, there may need to be a third dose later. And with Pfizer, they looked at the dosing. They get about a tenth of what adults did, and they need a three-dose series. So, Doc, uh, timing, I guess, is now the big question. When should children be vaccinated now because the vaccine have now been rolled out for these kids that are five years and younger, or should they wait till the end of summer, closer to school? What would you suggest? I would suggest getting it as soon as you can. The Pfizer vaccine takes a full about 12 weeks to become effective. So if you get it now, you're ready for that school time. And you're also getting protection for those summer vacations you may be having. Parents have been really concerned. How do I travel with my kids safely? And this allows one extra level of protection. Do children under six months have maternal immunity? How long does that last if mom was vaccinated or maybe mom had COVID? It depends on the kind of timing of mom. So did she get the vaccine during pregnancy? Did she get it during, you know, prior to pregnancy? Did she have COVID? And so there's a lot that we don't know. So there's children under six months we're extra careful with anyway. And I continue to encourage parents, regardless of the virus that they may be at risk for, to kind of take extra care with those children under six months. And doctor, we see and we hear from a lot of people that, that say, well, you know what, I want to wait and see uh, before actually making a decision. Obviously, Clinical trials on thousands of kids have been uh, under, undergone for the, the past few months here. Side effects, what side effects potentially have you seen out there? It was really impressive in the trials how few side effects there were. It was less than 10% of patients under six years of age in these trials who even had fevers. So it's really impressive because in adults, there was a lot of patients who just felt very sick after the vaccine and children seem to be tolerating it really well. You expect the normal things that you would expect with any vi or any vaccine, I'm sorry, uh, a little pain at the site, a little bit of fatigue, maybe some irritability, maybe that kid is crying a little bit more than they did. So a little extra cuddles and your child will do really well. Just real quickly, because kids that are so young, especially the newborns, are getting so many other vaccines early in life, does this pose a risk of getting this vaccine on top of those or not? Absolutely not. We combine a lot of vaccines and it's partially because our immune system is really smart and can handle a lot of things at once. If you think about the number of insults you have on a daily basis, the vaccines are just a smaller kind of dose of all of that. So our body is able to handle many vaccines at once and it's a smart way to kind of get all this done and get it out of the way. All right, Dr. Katherine Clauser, thank you so much for taking time out to talk to us. She's the co-director of the Pediatric COVID-19 Recovery Center at Joseph M. Sanzari Children's Hospital in Hackensack, New Jersey. Thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us this morning. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks for having me.